In this video, we're going to be looking at logical functions. And the first one we're going to be looking at is the if statement. And the if statement evaluates a condition and will return one value if it's true and another if it's false. The second one we're looking at is the end part of the logical function. And this tests multiple conditions and will return true only if all are met. And lastly, we're looking at or, it once again also tests multiple conditions. It will return true if any are met. Okay, let's dive right into our video. So right here we have the data we'll be working with and we have right here three different columns. We have stage, size plus state, and status. And we'll be using the logical functions to answer these questions to fill up these columns. First one we have is stage and stage is gonna be associated with the probability percentage. And over here to the right, we have three different criteria. If it's more than 80%, we wanna give it decision. If it's between 30 and 80, we want to call it qualified. And if it's less than 30, we just want to call it prospect. So I'm going to go here into I2 and I'm going to do equals if. And for this one, I'll be looking at G2 specifically. And what I'm going to say is if G2 is more than, I'm going to put 0 0.8 because 80% is 0.8 as a value. So if it's that, and we see right here, it says if logical test. What we have to say next is, okay, if it's true, what do you want to call it? We're going to put a comma. And in quotes, we're going to write decision. Okay, so we have that. Now, what if it's something else? What we're going to do now is put in a comma and do another if statement. If G2 is more than 0.3, because now we're doing, okay, so if it's between 30 and 80, What's that? So if G2 is more than 30%, we're going to call this qualified. Okay. Now to finish us off, it's like, okay, if it's not more than 80 and it's not more than 30, what is it going to be? We're just going to call it prospects. So anything else but that doesn't fit into these criteria will be listed as prospect. So in quotes, write prospect, close it up. Close it up twice since we have multiple if statements. Click enter. And let's take a look at the first one. So we see right here it says decision, which is correct. It's 92%. That makes sense for decision. Let me apply this to the rest. So I'm going to go to the bottom right, double click. And okay, cool. So we have some that came up. Let's just pick out a couple just to make sure. To see qualified, 53%. Yes, looks good. Let's look for a prospect, prospect, 21%. Yep, exactly. So we see right here that our criteria work perfectly. So now we have each probability percentage has the correct stage associated with. Next up is the size and state for in column J right here. And this one, we'll be using the end function for this. So there's going to be two different things we're looking at here. We want the company to be at least 3,000, and it has to be the state of California. Well, it should be right here, BCA. If it is both, we just want to say yes. If it doesn't meet both criteria, we want to say no. So starting here, I'll do equals if. I'm going to use the end function here. And what this is, okay, we can write as many logics as we want. But in this situation, we're just looking at two. So the first one, I'm going to go right here to company size. That company size has to be more then 3,000, and then the other one, column C, has to equal CA. And close that up. So I created my logic right there, put a comma right after that. So with this logic, okay, if both of these are true, what do you wanna say? We're just gonna say yes. And if neither are true, then we were gonna say no. Close it up, click enter, and just get that. Let's double click and take a look. Okay, so let's see the first one. This says yes, and that is true because this one here is more than 3,000 for the company size, and it's also in California. And this one says no, which is interesting because it is more than 3,000. However, the state is NY, New York. So that makes sense with our logic, and that's how we use the end function within Excel. The next one we're looking at is the status column. And for this one, we're using the or statement within Excel for this. 
So I'm going to go right here. And the criteria is we're going to be looking at the sales rep. So when this data was done, we have two reps that are no longer part of the company. So if the, if the sales rep is either Alice Smith or Evan Wright, we want to say terminated. If it's neither of them, we want to say active. So over here, I'm going to do equals if, open my parentheses and type in or. And just like before with and, we have to create the logics we want. And this way, we're going to D2. So if D2 is equal to, put little quotes right there, Alice Smith. And the next logic is also saying on D2, if D2 is equal to Evan Wright. Let's close that up since we are done with our logics. And we have to say now, okay, so if this is true, if either of those names show up in that cell, we want to say terminated. And if neither show up, we say active. Okay, let's click enter and take a look. And okay, so it says terminated. Let's apply it to the rest. And okay, so we see how this is coming about. So we see right here, terminated. And that makes sense because Al Smith shows up there. Evan Wright right there. And active says Charlie Davis. That makes sense. So like I said, only things that are showing up terminated is it has to be either Alice Smith or Evan Wright. If it's neither of them, it'll say active, which we see here clearly is working just fine. So last thing we're going to do here is we're going to look at the pipeline status of our data and pretty similar I'm using the if statement, but also using one of our basic math functions in order to do this. So let me go right over here to pipeline status and we have everything right here where we're looking at column E. And if column E is more than 2 million, we want to say excellent. If it's between one to 2 million, we want to say moderate. And if it's less than a million, we want to say unsatisfactory. It's going back up here to pipeline status, do equals if, and I have to select the range I'm looking at, which I want to find the sum of column E right here. So I'm select my range. So if this is more than 2 million, 2 million, then I want to say excellent. Do a comma. Now I have to put another if statement in here. So if sum, I'm going to type this one out since I already know what the range I'm working with here. 27, there we go. If this is more than a million, there we go. Then we want to say it's moderate. Say moderate. And if it's neither of these, if it's not more than 2 million and it's not more than 1 million, what do we want to call it? We want to call it unsatisfactory. So unsatisfactory. Close it up. One more since we have two if statements. And okay, we get moderate. So Okay, so based on the logic there, it says it's between one to two million. And we could do this really quickly, where if I just even go across this, there's a couple ways we could do this. And I just scroll, look right down here. It says sum to one and 1.4 million. Okay, it looks right. But let me just do it really quickly just to ensure this is correct. Cover this all up. And yeah, so it, it, yes, it perfectly. It fits right in the criteria we want. So that gives us a really quick idea to figure out, okay, like what is our status? And we could create our criteria right there using our if and sum functions within Excel. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.